Apparently, the moon is a little less thirsty than we thought. Scientists found water in microscopic glass beads on the moon's surface. So, the next time you're out of ice for your cocktail, just take a trip to the moon. The Chinese rover Chang's 5 stumbled upon this discovery, like some kind of cosmic frat party scavenger hunt. It turns out that these glass beads have been hoarding water like they're waiting for a drought. And the best part? There's enough water in these bad boys to fill 71 trillion gallons. That's a lot of swimming pools. I mean, what's next? Are we going to find that Mars has been hiding a stash of boxed wine? But seriously, this water could be a game changer for future astronauts. Who might need a little H2O to make breathable air, rocket fuel, or even a nice cup of tea? And hey, if water on the moon is the result of asteroids partying too hard, then we might have a solar system-wide phenomenon on our hands. Professor Sen Hu says that this could be a way to understand other worlds. Or maybe we're just finding out that the universe is really just one big wet theme park. One thing's for sure, NASA's got some catching up to do. China's out there exploring the moon like a cosmic Indiana Jones. But don't worry, America. Our time to shine and swim is coming with the Artemis program. We'll be back to the moon soon, ready to dive into those 71 trillion gallons of water. Who's up for a lunar pool party? Now, to access this new moon water, astronauts will have to collect these glass beads and heat them up to about 100 degrees Celsius. You know what that means, right? We're going to need a whole new line of space cookware. I'm talking about lunar griddles and moon microwaves. Just imagine whipping up a steaming hot bowl of lunar ramen. And let's not forget the potential for other moons in our solar system to have hidden water reservoirs. I mean, we could be looking at a galaxy-wide network of cosmic water parks. Forget Disney World, folks. I'm booking my next vacation to Europa Lagoon. But let's bring it back to Earth for a moment. This discovery shows just how much we still have to learn about our nearest celestial neighbor. Who knew the moon was hiding all this water like a miserly space camel? I mean, I always thought the moon looked like a little parched, but now it turns out it's just been holding out on us. Dr. Rhonda Stroud says this discovery definitely adds to our inventory of materials on the moon that we know contain water. So not only do we have 71 trillion gallons of water just chilling in glass beads, but there's also more water hidden away in those permanently shadowed craters. I guess you could say the moon's got a pretty cool ice collection. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm already picturing the first interstellar water parks. Imagine floating down a lazy river, gazing up at the Earth as you drift by. Or how about a zero-gravity wave pool? You'll be catching waves and moonwalking at the same time. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves, because we've still got some work to do before we start building lunar water slides. Like, say, figuring out how to extract all that water from these tiny glass beads without breaking a sweat. I can see it now. Future astronauts will need to be part space explorer, part expert bee wrangler. Talk about a niche skill set. In the meantime, we can only dream of a day when the moon's watery when the moon's watery resources help us reach even further into the cosmos. With 270 trillion kilograms of water at our disposal, we'll be able to fuel our rockets, quench our thirst and maybe, even and maybe even build the first outer space spa. Just imagine relaxing in a lunar hot tub, sipping on a moon teeny, and watching the Earth rise. Now that's what I call living the high life, literally. So with all this water on the moon, I can't help but wonder, what other surprises are waiting for us out there? Will we find a planet made of nacho cheese? A comet that's actually a giant snow cone? The possibilities are truly endless when it comes to the mysteries of the universe. And let's not forget the potential for water-fueled spaceports, lunar water polo, or maybe space surfing with astronauts catching solar winds on their interstellar surfboards. We're about to enter a new era of cosmic competition, so get ready to cheer on your favorite space athletes. But in all seriousness, this lunar water discovery has some incredible implications for the future of space exploration. With easier access to water, it's more feasible than ever to establish a sustainable presence on the moon. 
we could see the rise of lunar colonies, complete with moon bars, lunar laundromats, and even a space-age Starbucks. The moon is about to become our new cosmic playground, and I, for one, can't wait to see what we do with it. So as we continue to explore the cosmos and uncover its secrets, let's remember to stay hydrated and keep our sense of humor. After all, space may be vast and mysterious, but it's also full of amazing surprises, like 71 trillion gallons of water just waiting for us to dive in. And speaking of popping, did you know that the water in these glass beads is the result of a cosmic pop rock experiment? That's right. When asteroids slammed into the moon, they created these tiny silicate spheres. Then solar winds brought hydrogen atoms to the moon where they mixed with elements inside the beads, creating water. Talk about an explosive reaction. I guess you could say the moon's been secretly hosting the solar system's most exclusive chemistry party all this time. Now, while the idea of an interstellar water park is undoubtedly exciting, there's a serious side to all this lunar hydration too. As we continue to explore space and plan for long-term stays on other celestial bodies, discoveries like this will be essential to our survival. So, in a way, those glass beads are like tiny watery life rafts just waiting to keep us afloat in the great cosmic ocean. Of course, we can't leave Earth behind entirely. After all, we still need to figure out how to live more sustainably on our home planet before we start exporting our pool parties to other worlds. But the moon's hidden water resources might just give us a glimpse into what's possible when we think beyond our own backyard. So, as we venture further into the unknown, let's take inspiration from the moon and its watery secrets. Who knows, maybe someday we'll be cracking jokes about Martian mojitos and Jupiter jacuzzis. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies and your dreams on the horizon. And always remember, the universe is full of surprises and maybe even a few good laughs.